Hello students welcome back to the English class I'm your English teacher Ms Rachna Chanda Rana and I'm back with another learning video In today's video we are going to revise and recap English literature We are going to take up lesson number 5 that is Adventures of Little Al This is a story of Thomas Elva Edison We have already studied this lesson in details earlier today we are going to revise it and have a quick recap for our terminal examination so that we can recollect everything that we have studied earlier so let's get going to start with i would want you to take out your real english course book and refer to page number 26 On this page we have the lesson which is called the adventures of little al This story is about Thomas Elva Edison who was an American inventor and businessman who has been described as America's greatest inventors He developed many devices in the fields such as electric power generation mass communication sound recording motion pictures etc he was born on february 11th 1847 in milan and he died on 18th october 1931 in new jersey united states today we are going to study about him how he grew up and how he became an inventor in this video children if you remember in our previous videos we have studied this lesson in details today we are going to have a short recap of everything that we have studied earlier about thomas elva edison and his journey in short we are going to see the animation and reading of the lesson number 5 that is adventures of little al then we will see a short summary of the story then we will see the new words then the word bank then we will recap exercise a1 that was choose the correct answers on page 29 then we will see exercise a2 that is sequence the events in edison's life which is also on page 29 and we are going to do answer these questions which is on page 29 i'm sure you have written all these in your book In case you have not please go ahead and write it now and in case you have already written for your practice you can write down all this in your rough book or your study book that will be a good revision for your terminal examination 1 Chapter 5 The Adventures of Little Al Thomas Alva Edison is one of the best known inventors in history He was the youngest of the seven children of his parents and everyone called him al young al was a weak and fragile child with an unusually large head for some years he was not allowed to go to school because of poor health al was poor at studies once a teacher said in front of his mother that he was adult his mother was a teacher herself she decided to withdraw al from school and educate him at home as a boy Edison's curiosity and daring led him into unusual adventures. At the age of 6, he went missing one day. After an anxious search, his father found him sitting in a nest he had made in the barn. The nest was filled with goose eggs and hen's eggs he had collected. Edison had noted the way a goose hatched her eggs by sitting on them, and he wanted to try it out himself. Though Edison did not attend school regularly, he used to read every book in his reach. His parents were educated and refined people with a good library at home. He read voraciously, mostly books on history and science. He even tried reading scientific books that were beyond the grasp of a child. In the cellar of his home, Edison set up a small laboratory when he was 10 years old. Every time he read about an experiment in a science book he would try it in his laboratory 
he had collected around 200 bottles of chemicals and arranged them carefully on shelves of his cellar lab. All of them were labelled poison, so that no one else would handle or disturb them. The experiments consumed the boy's pocket money rapidly. Soon he started working as a newsboy. Though his parents objected to this, Edison pointed out that as a newsboy, he could earn all the money he needed for his experiments. Besides, he could read newspapers and magazines for free. He was soon selling periodicals on a local train that travelled between Port Huron, where he lived, and Detroit, a business centre. This train had a disused smoking compartment, which was given to Edison to keep his papers. He kept his papers there, but besides that, he also transferred his laboratory from the cellar and set it up on the train. At the age of 14, Edison became a striking example of overcoming hardships to pursue knowledge. One day, the train was running fast over a piece of poorly laid track. As the train jolted violently, a stick of phosphorus was jarred from its shelf, fell to the floor and burst into flame. The compartment was on fire. The boy tried hard to quench the blaze. The train conductor quickly rushed in with water and saved the compartment. At the next station, Edison, along with his equipment and papers, was thrown out of the train. The train moved off leaving him on the platform with tearful eyes amidst his broken articles. After the accident, the furious train conductor had boxed Edison in the ear so severely that he started growing deaf. But he did not see his deafness as a handicap. He said that it helped him concentrate, shutting out the distracting sounds from the surroundings while he conducted his experiments. Edison's next career was as a telegraph operator. As a newsboy on a train, he had once saved the child of a station agent from being hit by a boxcar. As a reward, the station agent taught him the art of telegraphy and made him an operator. Edison never stopped experimenting and building new machines. Many years later, he set up a factory of inventions. He employed hundreds of men, all busy on inventions. He worked as hard as his employees, often 18 out of 24 hours of the day. Once a great fire destroyed many of his factory buildings, his answer to the wild, leaping flames was, we will begin rebuilding tomorrow. Edison's factory turned out hundreds of inventions. The most valuable of his inventions are the electric light, the phonograph and the moving picture. The electric light became part of people's everyday life. The phonograph or the sound recorder made it possible to distribute music recorded on wax discs. The moving pictures led to the development of movies. Perhaps no other inventor has enriched our daily lives as much as Thomas Elwa Edison. Now children, I hope that the animation and the reading of the story has made it easier for you to remind and recollect everything that you have studied about this lesson earlier. Let me tell you this story in short. The story is about Thomas Elva Edison, who is one of the best known inventors in history. When he was small, everybody used to call him Al, but his full name was Thomas Elva Edison. Now, when Edison was young, when he was a child, he was very fragile. He had a very unusually large head and he used to fall sick very frequently. One of his teachers had called him adult once and his mother had decided to withdraw him from school and educate him at home since she was a teacher herself. Now, as he grew up, his curiosity increased. He was a very curious and adventurous child. So he decided that he wanted to find out everything around him. Once he went missing and after an anxious search, he was found in the barn. In the barn, he was sitting on a nest. The nest was full of goose eggs and hen's eggs. He had collected them and he wanted to find out how these eggs hatched into babies. So he wanted to try it himself. 
so he sat down on these eggs and thought that he would be able to hatch those eggs edison was also a very frequent reader he used to love reading and since his parents were refined people they were educated people they had a good library at home so he used to read a read a lot of books at home and he used to read regularly and voraciously voraciously means in large number he used to mostly read books on history and science sometimes he used to read books which were beyond the capacity of a child but still since he was so keen so interested so curious about science he went on and on reading more and more and more when edison was 10 years old he set up a laboratory in the cellar of his home cellar means the basement of his house he had collected a lot of bottles of chemicals and he had labeled all of them poison because he did not want anybody to touch it then he started doing a part time job as a newsboy as a newsboy he used to sell newspapers this had two advantages he could also read the newspapers for free and he got all the extra money that he needed for his experiments that he could conduct in the laboratory at his cellar when he grew up he became a newsboy on the train he started selling periodicals on a train which traveled between port huron where he lived and detroit which was a business center this train had a disused compartment which was a smoking compartment which was not in use anymore and he used to keep his periodicals in that compartment and he also shifted his laboratory from his cellar to the train now one day when the train was running very fast it jolted and a stick of phosphorus fell down on the ground and it caught fire immediately and the whole compartment was on fire the boy really tried very hard to put off the fire but he could not then the conductor of the train came and he helped him and he diffused the fire the fire went off but he was very very angry so the conductor of the train threw edison and all his equipments and his periodicals out of the train on the next station and there was edison with tearful eyes and he was very very sad after this accident the train conductor boxed him very hard on one of his ear and he became deaf from one ear but that did not stop him this made edison more determined he took this not as a handicap but he took this as an advantage because he said that this saves him from a lot of distraction around him so he could concentrate more on his experiments and his learning after this he became a telegraph operator as he grew his inquisitiveness his curiosity to learn grew and he started doing more and more experiments and started learning more and more about science soon he grew up and he became a very big inventor he made many new machines he set up a big factory and employed hundreds of men in his factory they were all engaged in making new inventions making new machines once a factory one of his factory caught fire and that spread and many of his factory buildings were burnt but this did not stop him he said we will rebuild again tomorrow which means he started again the next day nothing in this world could stop edison from his experiments and from his inventions in time when he grew he became a very big inventor in fact one of the most famous inventors of america he invented many important things like the electric bulb the phonograph machine the sound recorder the motion pictures camera uh, and so many other things which we still use in our modern life so in fact edison's life edison's inventions have been very important have been a very important contribution to our life today itself this is the story of thomas elva edison i hope you have uh, recollected the story and let us go ahead and see the next part now children there are many new words in the story which we need to learn i am sure you already have learned them but today we are going to revise those words 
the first word is inventors i n v e n t o r s next one is history h i s t o r y next is fragile f r a g i l e next is unusually that is u n u s u a l l y next is addled that is a d d l e d next is withdraw that is w i t h d r a w next is educate that is e d u c a t e next is curiosity that is c u r i o s i t y next one is anxious that is a n x i o u s next is hatched h a t c h e d next is regularly r e g u l a r l y let us see a few more new words next one is refined r e f i n e d library l i b r a r y voraciously v o r a c i o u s l y scientific s c i e n t i f i c grasp g r a s p cellar c e l l a r laboratory l a b o r a t o r y experiment e x p e r i m e n t chemicals c h e m i c a l s arranged a r r a n g e d poison p o i s o n Now children I'm sure you have learned all these words when we did this lesson previously and also during spelling bee but today we are just revising the words as they can be asked in our terminal examination so let's go ahead and see a few more words i want you to say these words with me while you are watching it in the video consumed that is c o n s u m e d rapidly r a p i d l y magazines m a g a z i n e s periodicals p e r i o d i c a l s business b u s i n e s s disused d i s u s e d compartment c o m p a r t m e n t transferred t r a n s f e r r e d striking s t r i k i n g example a x a m p l e pursue p u r s u e the next one is knowledge k n o w l e d g e jolted j o l t e d violently v i o l e n t l y phosphorus p h o s p h o r o u s quench q u e n c h equipment e q u i p m e n t amidst a m i d s t handicap h a n d i c a p concentrate c o n c e n t r a t e distracting d i s t r a c t i n g surrounding s u r r o u n d i n g s telegraph t e l e g r a p h operator o p e r a t o r machines m a c h i n e s employees e m p l o y e e s valuable v a l u a b l e electric e l e c t r i c phonograph p h o n o g r a p h 
distribute d i s t r i b u t e development d e v e l o p m e n t perhaps p e r h a p s last word is enriched e n r i c h e d enriched now children i hope you have written all these new words in your cw in case you have not please go ahead and write it now and if you have already written i would request you to write it once again in your rough book or your study book so that you can practice it once again now let's go ahead and see the next part in the next part we are going to recap the word bank of this lesson so let us see the words in the word bank the first one was fragile which means weak and likely to become ill the second word is adult which means confused and not able to think clearly the third word is withdraw which means to take back the fourth word is educate which means to teach the fifth word is curiosity which means strong wish to know something the sixth word is daring which means courage number 7 is anxious which means feeling worried number 8 is barn which means a large farm building to store grain and keep animals in number 8 is hatched which means made a young bird come out of the egg number 10 is refined which means well educated and having a high position in society number 11 is voraciously which means regularly and in large quantities number 12 is grasp which means understanding number 13 is cellar which means an underground room used for storing things number 14 is consumed which means used number 15 is newsboy which means a boy who sells newspapers number 16 is disused which means no longer used number 17 is pursue which means to go after number 18 is jolted which means jerked number 19 is boxed in the ear here it means hit somebody on the side of their head with hand as a punishment number 20 is quench the blaze which means stop the fire from burning number 21 is handicap which means disability number 22 is concentrate which means to give all your attention number 23 is distracting which means taking your attention away from what you are doing and the last one is box car which means a closed railway coach for carrying goods now children i'm sure you have written all these from the word bank in your cw in case you have not written please go ahead and write them now and if you have already written it's very good write them once again in your rough book so that you can practice it for your terminal examination now let's go ahead and see the next part in the next part we have exercise a1 so let us recap exercise a1 that is choose the correct answers on page number 29 little al was not allowed to go to school for some years because of the options are his large head his adult brain poor health and the correct answer is poor health Number 2 is where did Edison's father find him after he went missing one day The options are in a train compartment 
in the barn in the cellar laboratory the correct answer is b in the barn number 3 is where was edison living when he became a newsboy the options are port huron detroit new york and the correct answer is a port huron number 4 is the phonograph was the options are a type of telephone a camera a sound recorder and the correct answer is a sound recorder students i'm sure you have done these exercises in your book today we are just going to revise these exercises so that it's easier for you to study for your terminal examination so let us see the next part now in the next part we have exercise a2 in this exercise we have to sequence the events in edison's life this is also on page number 29 of your book i'm sure you have done this exercise but today we are going to revise it for your terminal examination so let us see the options that we have got that we have to put in order that is in sequence the first statement is edison set up a factory of inventions edison tries to hatch eggs by sitting on them edison's mother withdraws him from school he sets up a laboratory in the cellar of his house edison is thrown out of the train and edison's learn telegraphy so these are the six statements we have got which we have to put in order that is in sequence so let us go ahead and see the answers So the answers are number 1 is Edison's mother withdraws him from school. The second one is Edison tries to hatch eggs by sitting on them. The third one is he sets up a laboratory in the cellar of his house. The fourth one is Edison is thrown out of the train. The fifth one is Edison learns telegraphy. and the sixth one that is the last one is edison sets up a factory of inventions now you just have to put these numbers on the left side where the bullet points are given in your book on page 29 i'm sure you have done it let us go ahead and do the next part in the next part we have exercise a3 that is answer these questions on page number 29 These question and answers were to be written in your CW notebook. In case you have written it already, it's very good. In case you have not, go ahead and write it now. After every question you have to leave a line and after every answer you have to leave a line. If you've already written it in your CW, go ahead and write it in your rough book once for practice. Let's see number 1. Question number 1 is Why did Edison's mother withdraw him from school? The answer for this one is Edison's mother withdrew him from school after a teacher described him as adult. Question number 2 is What was Edison trying to do sitting in the barn? The answer for this one is In the barn Edison was trying to hatch eggs by sitting on them. Question number 3 is why did Edison label the bottles of chemicals poison? The answer for this one is Edison labeled the bottles poison so that no one else would handle or disturb them. Number 4 is What was Edison's reason for choosing to become a newsboy? Answer is by becoming a newsboy Edison could earn all the money he needed for his experiments he could also read newspapers and magazines for free Number 5 is how did Thomas Edison become deaf and the answer is 
After Edison's chemicals caused a fire in the train compartment, the furious conductor of the train boxed him hard on the ear. This made him deaf. Question number six, which is the last one, is When did Edison say we will begin rebuilding tomorrow? What does this tell us about his nature? The answer is Edison said this after a great fire destroyed many of his factory buildings. This shows his determination to never be defeated by challenges. Now children, this was about the lesson that is lesson number 5, Adventures of Little Al. In today's video, we have recapped, recollected and revised everything that we have studied about the story and the lesson earlier. This was a revision for your Terminal 1 examination. I want you to go through the video very carefully and do the given tasks in your rough book for practice for your Terminal Examination 1. With this, we come to the end of today's revision video. I will see you again tomorrow with another revision video. In tomorrow's video, we are going to revise grammar. All this revision, children, is going to be for your terminal examination 1. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you again tomorrow. Till then, I want you to stay home, stay safe with your family and keep learning. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I hope you know the name of my channel. It is Rachna Chandarana on YouTube. You will find more English videos there. This is me, your English teacher, signing off. Bye-bye.